let us try to understand what is meant by read only memory and later we shall try to implement 4 cross 4 nor based rom array read only memory read only memory cells can be built with one transistor per bit of storage means if you want to store single bit of information you need to make use of only one transistor a rom is non volatile so non volatile is something in which the information will not be lost even though if you won't give any kind of power whereas volatile is something there will be loss of data if power is not given so that's what i mentioned it here a rom is non volatile memory structure in that the state is retained indefinitely even without power so volatile means there will be loss of data if power is not given whereas non volatile means there won't be any loss of data even though if power is not given so these are some of the key points which you need to remember in order to understand the working of read only memory now let us try to understand what is 4 cross 4 nor based rom array so 4 cross 4 nor based rom array so these are some of the key points which you need to know if no active transistor exists at the cross point the column voltage is pulled high by the pmos load device next logic 1 bit is stored as the absence of active transistor whereas logic 0 is stored as the presence of active transistor at the cross point so let us try to see these two points in detail so logic 1 bit is stored as the absence of active transistor so this is a cross point here this r stands for row and c stands for column you can also consider this r as word line and c as bit line so as there is an absence of active transistor at this cross point one is stored so that's the reason this is the point logic one bit is stored as the absence of active transistor means if there is no active transistor present at this particular cross point the information will be one why because the supply voltage that i am giving is 5 volt which is directly connected to this output next logic 0 bit is stored as a presence of active transistor at the cross point so again consider the same cross point r, r is for row c is for column now at this cross point this particular active transistor is present where i am using nmos we already know the on and off conditions of nmos for nmos if i give input as 1 it will be in on state if i give 0 it will be in off state for nmos if i give 1 as input it will be in on state if i give 0 it will be in off state so if you observe here this red indicates logic high so this is logic high means logic 1 if i am giving 1 this particular nmos will be in on state so via this point it is connected to ground ground means it is logic 0 so that's the reason this particular output that is this led is in off state this is in off state so it will be logic 0 so that's what i mentioned it here if transistor is present output will be 0 only the thing is you have to on this particular r value r is something called as row you can also consider this as word line you can also consider this as bit line so remember these two points now by using this we shall try to draw the 4 cross 4 nor based rom array so you have taken some random diagram where you can consider this part as pull down you can consider this part as pull up so in pull up i am making use of pmos so this particular pmos will always be in on state so let me write the on and off conditions of pmos also for pmos if i give input as 0 it will be in on state if i give 1 it will be in off state similarly for nmos if I give 0, it will be in off state. If I give 1, it will be in on state. And you may get a doubt like why I have taken these transistors like this. So it depends upon the truth table that I am following. So let me show you the truth table which I am following. And based on that only I have drawn this particular transistors here. And remember one point here as this is NOR based, these particular transistors should be connected in parallel. If it is NAND based, they will be connected in series. So this is the particular truth table that I am following here R1, R2, R3 and R4 are called as rows and C1, C2, C3 and C4 are called as columns. You can also consider these rows as word line 
columns as bit line as it is 4 cross 4 meaning that 4 input and 4 output means 4 row 4 column so what i am doing is uh, if it is rows randomly i am taking one signal as high so randomly i am taking one signal as high for each and every combination so i am taking four combinations one two three and four and randomly you can write this particular output so i am taking as zero one zero one for first case second one is zero zero one zero third one is one double zero one and fourth one is zero one one zero if you want you can take a different truth table and you can also try to draw the logic diagram now i am following this particular table for which i will draw the four cross four nor based raw array so let us see so see here four cross four means four rows four columns so here r1 r2 r3 and r4 are four rows columns are c1 c2 c3 and c4 here these two points are very important so if transistor is absent it is called as logic one if transistor is present it is logic zero so let me explain you for first condition so first condition i am taking r1 as one remaining three are zeros so one means you can consider this as on this is off this is off and this one is off now observe c1 c2 c3 and c4 so see here c1 and c3 are zero and zero so for logic zero transistor should be present at the cross point so that's the reason i have taken transistor at c1 and c3 see here c1 and c3 I have taken the transistor only at those cross points where the remaining cross points this is zero it means I am not taking any particular transistor there. Now let's analyze this particular case if R1 is on on is nothing but here it is one if it is one this particular transistor will be on this particular transistor will be on on means via this point it is connected to ground same thing here via this it is connected to ground means only at this particular line this will be zero so along this line it will be zero where are the remaining two cases if you observe this particular pmos is on this is on why because it is connected directly to ground so it is always in on state only on means it will be one so along this line we will get output as one similarly along this line we will get output as one whereas here this particular thing is pulled to zero so here it is zero and here it is again zero so that's the reason if you observe only two LEDs are glowing here which is C2 and C4 whereas C1 and C3 are off state that is 0 and 0. So we need to get the same thing in this particular truth table also. So we got the same thing 0 1 0 1. Next let us take it for R2. Now take R2 as 1 and remaining all are zeros. So this is 0 and this is 1. This is 0 and this is 0. This is off. 1 is nothing but on this is off this is again off now observe the truth table c1 c2 c3 and c4 so if you observe here c1 c2 c4 these are zeros so read this point logic zero means active transistor should be present so along those columns only indicate the presence of active transistor so c1 c2 and c4 active transistors are present now later try to perform on and off conditions and try to write the output if r2 is 1 this is on this is on and this is on if it is on means it is connected directly to ground so ground means it is 0 so here 0 0 and 0 whereas here this particular pmos is on state so via this line it will be connected to 1 which is nothing but vdd so i have to get output as 0 0 1 0 the same thing i got 0 0 1 0 now let us see the third case take r3 1 remaining all are zeros so this is 1 this remaining are zeros now let us see the on and off conditions and why i am taking only transistors here means this is a particular condition that i am assuming c2 and c3 i am taking as zeros so logic zero means active transistor will be present so two transistors are present here whereas the remaining cross point there is no active transistor present now because this r3 is 1 this is on this is on on means it is pulled directly to ground so along these two lines it will be zeros whereas this pmos is always on this pmos is always on so it is pulled to vdd which is nothing but 1 so i have to get output as 1001 1001 the same thing i got 
लास्ट केस टेक आर फोर एज वन सो आर फोर एज वन रिमेनिंग जीरोस एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू माई ट्रूथ टेबल हैव टेकन सी वन सी फोर एज जीरोस सो लॉजिक जीरो मीन्स एक्टिव ट्रांजिस्टर शुड बी प्रेजेंट एट सी वन एंड सी फोर सो सी वन सी फोर एक्टिव ट्रांजिस्टर इज प्रेजेंट बिकॉज ऑफ आर फोर वन दिस विल बी इन ऑन स्टेट मीन्स इट इज पुल्ड टू ग्राउंड सो अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन सेल गेट आउटपुट एज जीरोस whereas because these two transistors are always in on state why because it is connected directly to ground which is zero i'll get output as vdd which is 1 so the output that i have to get is 0110 the same thing i got 0110 so if you want you can take a different combinations of r1 r2 r3 r4 c1 c2 c3 c4 and you can change this particular diagram also so this is the diagram which i'm following only for this particular truth table if you take different combination for c1 c2 c3 and c4 the presence of these active transistors differ so this is the working of 4 cross 4 nor based rom array and remember the point nor nor means y is equal to a plus b whole bar so plus is nothing but parallel so that's the reason these particular active transistors are connected in parallel So in the later videos we shall try to understand the working of 4 cross 4 NAND based ROM array